So one of the major challenges that we're trying to look at is with uh, hotter and drier climates, it's going to be less favorable for growing any crops, especially wheat. The primary focus of our project is to be developing methods and approaches that will help accelerate the development of climate resilient wheat varieties. So wheat varieties that have superior uh, performance, have improved heat tolerance, and we're using genomic approaches to help predict uh, yield and other agronomic traits and then to be able to use that information to accelerate the breeding cycle. Our team for the USAID project is made up of scientists and students here at Kansas State. Uh, we also have uh, partners at CIMIT, which is the International Wheat Research Center in Mexico, and also CIMIT project team partners that are located in India at the Borlaug Institute uh, for South Asia, located at different locations across North India, and also um, collaborators at Cornell University. So agriculture is uh, important uh, in, in the economy of India. It contributes around uh, 20 to 40 percent towards the total GDP of India. And about 50 percent of the population is dependent on agriculture, 20 percent towards the global uh, wheat production. In both cases, for Kansas and for India, for South Asia, we're really working on approaches that will accelerate the whole process of breeding superior uh, wheat varieties. Currently, it takes somewhere between 10 or 15 years to breed an improved wheat variety. With new technologies, with new methodologies, we're hoping to reduce that to five or six years. Uh, and so basically, overall, this will enable uh, being able to respond to climate change, being able to uh, identify and select improved varieties much faster, and with that being able to um, uh, basically like compound interest, being able to year after year make steady and subsequent improvements.